Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about creating an accordion view in Flutter. And as always, uh, I have done the code before and I will walk you through how it's being done. Before uh, looking into the code, let's see how the application look like. So what basically accordion means like you can have uh, sections, subsections and further drill down sections. So if you, let's say here I have a, uh, I just defined a category. So if you open the category, you can see products under that category. And if you click that one of the product, then you can see sub products. And you have like uh, three level, two levels of drill down here. And when you, in the end, when you click the last level, you go into the details. And you can see I have, uh, made like some levels expandable some levels not expandable so we will see how this is being done okay let's uh, jump in with flutter to make something like this is really easy you just have to manipulate with the data you use a single source of truth and manipulate the data and the ua gets uh, regenerated or rebuilt accordingly that's exactly what i have done here so let's uh, start with looking into the model object so this is my model object it has a few properties like uh, an unique identifier then the name then the parent's name and whether it can be expanded or not and whether it is already expanded or not then the level like which level it is on the top or uh, the the drill down level then the type whether it is a category product or sub product then children children is like the subsections of a particular uh, section and the object type ena this is the model object that we are going to use uh, for this project and it's it's the only thing what we need to make sure like whenever you do uh, the same thing make sure the object is unique uh, it should have some identifier which uh, uh, makes it a unique object otherwise it can fail because we are using some index operations index query to uh, find the index where one particular object is being present yes now let's uh, look into the core guy, which is the data store, which manipulates the data or which manipulates the uh, the source for our UI. Okay, the data store has a list of uh, these objects, uh, which call data rows. So whenever the data store is being created, I just create some test data. So which starts from the top level, which are the categories. So I create like 15 uh, categories and I put the the number as uh, the unique identifier or the title with number, then the name, like for example, category zero, category zero. Then since it is on the top level, there is no parent. So I just give the parent name as no parent and uh, it's, it's expanded. No, by default, it's not expanded. <laughs> then the level. So the level determines the padding so i will come to that a bit later now i just randomly assign whether uh, a category can be expanded or not um, just checking whether the uh, the counter is even so if it is even just make it expanded else not expanded then add those objects to the data rows so the data rows in the beginning will have 15 category items to start now when a user taps on a particular uh, category or particular section then we call this function so which is uh, to fetch the children and make it expand so what actually happens here is first we will detect the index of uh, the tapped object so this is to make sure like we have to insert the children next to that index so we need need the index of uh, that object then we check whether the object can be expanded. If, if it can be expanded, then we make it uh, to true, uh, whether it is expanded is made to true. Then we check like if the parent object already has children populated, then we do not uh, populate. 
and if it is already populated then what we will do is like we will insert that children into the data rows so the the source of truth is now updated so what actually happens here is let's say for example the category is at index 0 the category has 10 children then uh, from index 1 uh, to the count 10 the children will be added data rows is kind of now flattened so you will have if you, if you try to see it as an excel sheet you will have category 0 below that you will have product 0 product 1 product 2 product 3 product 4 like that so that's what is happening here and we will manipulate uh, the ui to make sure like it is properly indented to show that these are children of that okay now we have two levels here uh, product and sub product so that's what i'm doing here it's just data manipulation so when we hit if if the the children's are already not populated and if the the type is zero which means it's a category then we create a product uh, object so i'll create a 10 product object the same same logic that we used the only difference is like we update the level uh, the identifier then the type and then we add them to the uh, data rows so it's the same thing uh, here what happens is if it is already populated with then we do not create it fresh so we just reuse whatever is present and if the uh, object type is not category we just go to the uh, sub products because we know it's already product so then we create the sub product uh, children here also we just update the identifiers uh, then make the uh, children and add to the data rows so that's what is happening so like when when you have a different data source you you just like let's say if you have data coming from the back end or something you just need to manipulate with that uh, that data so this is just for test uh, purpose i just created like this the only thing what we need to care about is on the levels and the identifiers and the parent then there are some convenience method like to return the number of items i just wanted to make every data manipulation happening in the data store itself so instead of uh, exposing data rows uh, i just try wanted to create some uh, convenience functions then like here it returns the number of items then the item at index so whenever user uh, whenever the list gets populated uh, so it uh, based on every index it creates uh, it gives back a, an object back to the ui okay so that's when when you try to expand so what happens when you click on a, a section which is already expanded so then we call this method collapse so here also we find out the index which is being tapped then what we do is like let's say if you have expanded category 0 then inside that product 0 it's also expanded so when you tap on category 0 you have to collapse both the section the product also the category as well as product needs to be collapsed so you need to do some recursive operations here so first what we so we try to find out uh, the total number of rows to be collapsed from the index where you tapped so that's what is happening here so we just loop through uh, loop to the children of whatever uh, sections that is being like, expanded and then we calculate the uh, count count of index to be collapsed so once we get that uh, count we just remove that range from data rows so that uh, the you get a feeling like the whole uh, list is now collapsed and we make the expanded flat to false so next time when the user taps the same section you just hit in this this area like where we the the object already contains the children so you just need to add to the data rows so that's all it is with the data manipulation now let's look at the ui so ui is basically uh, a list view so first we check if the data rows is empty then just show like loading data uh, in in our case it doesn't happen because we always create the list 
but when you have data from net network or something you might want to add that and in the list view builder we just get the number of items then build uh, a list style uh, with the item so here what i'm doing is uh, so as we have seen so you in the list style you have a title label and subtitle label and a disclosure indicator so for the title and subtitle label i just gave an animated padding so the padding will be based on the object level so that's how you uh, even though the data structure is flattened you will be able to uh, show that it is a child based on the level so category 0 i send the 0 level uh, so it will be uh, padding 10 and ca uh, category uh, sorry padding 0 so when it comes to product the object level becomes 1 so the padding will be 10 and when it's sub products the object level is 2 so it will be 20 uh, from the left so that's how you can manipulate the shifting in ios and all it's uh, they have a table view has a property called indentation table view cell so we use that for that purpose and animated padding will give a small animation of uh, the padding shifting then so the, the same thing is applied for both title and subtitle and for the trailing i create an icon so icon is uh, generated based on the uh, state of the object so if it is expanded we give an arrow down and else it will be arrow right Yeah, and on tap, we call the, the functions that we discussed before. So if an object is expanded already, then we try to collapse them. And after we calculate all the uh, data row stuff, we just do the set state. And if it is uh, not expanded, then we try to expand it again. After that, we do the set state. And if we know like this, uh, uh, particular section cannot be expanded that means you need to go to the details so you just navigate to the details it's just a uh, push uh, push route to the detail screen so detail screen is nothing but just show a text in the center yeah so that's all how you um, do it so the basic the core thing that we do is with the with the data manipulation basically uh, managing a list of uh, data and and manipulating the ui with the levels so that's all yeah and if you would like i have created this uh, this project or this uh, particular application before in objective c swift and recently in swift ui so i will post the link to all the source code in the description yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.